Tooth Fan. It's your boy Tony Two Times, and we back with another episode of Hood Tales, man. And tonight, we're going to take it to Charlotte, North Carolina. Let's get right into it. North Carolina, the land of the Tar Heels, where Michael Jordan got his game from, to be one of the greatest basketball players in the world. Land of classic songs and rappers. Petey Pablo, North Carolina raised up, even new school artists like the baby. I remember being young and going to family reunions to my Aunt Leona house. She stayed in Fayetteville and I loved the vibes and the neighborhood. The city of Charlotte is called the Queen City and it's a busy, prosperous place. But in the Queen City, it's another side and a group of kings in the Queen City. A group of young men that go by HVK, short for Hidden Valley Kings. Hidden Valley is a neighborhood in the north side of Charlotte, and there's a world and a culture all in its own. HVK started when a young man from Chicago moved to the Charlotte neighborhood, and he was VL, or Vice Lord. But instead of bringing his gang ties to his new hood, he respected the vibes and came up with Kings. Short for crucial, Islamic, Nubian gods. And the hood kids just added their turf name to it. The squad colors are black and green and came from the neighborhood school colors. Back in HVK earlier days, it was only 10 members, but quickly expanded. Once youngins from other projects moved to the Hidden Valley neighborhood and bought their tradition and way of life with them. The Kings would hustle girl, grass, and ease to get bread and definitely look out for each other. The neighborhood was like a family and everybody knew each other. So if an outsider came in, they were immediately recognized and dealt with. If an outsider wanted to hustle in the king's hood, they had to pay taxes to the squad. If an individual didn't follow the laws of the land, it got real hectic for them and they were dealt with accordingly. The kings felt comfortable in their area of the city and really didn't have to leave because they had everything they needed right there. The Kings had a structure that went from OK or Original King to Big Dubs that been in the squad for the longest or OGs, Original Gangsters or BGs, Baby Gangsters, Foot Soldiers who did all the dirt and Pee Wees. That was the youngest from the hood that might join when they get a little older. Money and life was good in Hidden Valley. Getting real paper without too much heat because of the landscape of the hood. The Kings could see anybody coming in, HVK. HVK had respect on their side and throughout the city, but also had rivals. A young King named Paco was one of the top members in the squad. Sources say he kept two blickies at all times and was a super trapper and a hitter. But in the streets, even the toughest guys get tried. Paco and another king would venture off out their hood or would run into an op where things would go real left. Paco was unfortunately hit up and lost his life, leaving the squad hurt but making them more dangerous. They now knew they had beef in the city and it was Hidden Valley versus everybody. And they scrapped up and the kings were on edge Police in Charlotte at the time was blind to a possible gang in the city and thought all incidents were isolated. Another incident one night at a club, a king went to a popular hangout for the squad when he realized the outside of mugging and watching the squad. Before the spot closed, the young man who was an outsider put out a cig and somebody drank. He had a blicky, but a king would be quicker with his and unfortunately, the young man lost his life. The Kings were getting active and had other hoods shook. Money was still being made in HV, but violence was making the Kings hot. The Kings tried to keep a low profile after the incident, but as the streets go, another situation will happen soon after. After a young man who was allowed to hustle in Hidden Valley was cracking slick on paying his taxes. The Kings took that as disrespect being that the young trapper wasn't affiliated. A few kings will one day go to a local mall and spot the outsider in the food court. Words were exchanged and shots were fired right in the mall. 
The Kings and the Young Trapper made it out, but it wasn't over. The Kings got in a whip and followed the man up a city street and banged out with each other. Shots were fired by both parties. As the outsider got out to make a run for it, the Kings chased him through the blocks, even allegedly running through people's homes until the young man was caught and hit up and unfortunately lost his life. After this situation, police realized HVK was serious and the investigation was stuck. Police started making arrests and flipping guys with ties to Hidden Valley to make them give up information, even wearing wires while going through the hood and making cops. Police made the informants by small amounts to go under the radar, and once they felt as though they had enough evidence, houses were raided and the shot police linked up with the feds to bring down the kings. Indictments was handed down, and charges ranged from trapping, hits, and other alleged serious charges. Some kings escaped the indictment, and some jumped into the Charlotte music scene. The organization was strong, and the hood is still there, with the younger generation. Police allege if no bodies would have dropped, the kings could have made as much money as they wanted to, because they didn't know all that was going on. More of this story, even when your hood is tight and has respect, there's always somebody that think they hoods go a little harder. Nobody wins in the end. So y'all know my saying, succeed not to fail. So you won't be just another hood tail. Man, shout out to North Carolina, you feel me? Charlotte, you know what I mean? The whole North Carolina area, you know. HVK, Hidden Valley Kings. Like I said, that's a neighborhood out there, you know what I mean? Also an organization of young men. And they also just had a recent situation. You know, this one right here a little older. But they had a recent situation that I ain't want to touch on because it's still open. But you know, this is a requested video, man. I appreciate the information for the person that gave me this. You know what I mean? Let me know who y'all want to see next. Let me know where y'all from. You feel me in the comments. I definitely got to take a trip to North Carolina. Like I said, I got a lot of family out there in Fayetteville. Always was a fun place to go. My aunt had the swimming pool. Neighborhood was just lit. But yeah, man, y'all already know. Another episode of Hood Tales, man. We hit that 30K fam. I appreciate the love and support. It means a lot, you feel me? I know we're going to get to that 50K in no time because y'all always show love. If you want to support the channel, just check out the links in the description. Make sure to hit that like button. It's free. It don't cost you nothing. Share the video. Love, fam. I'm out.